Hello, welcome to Card Nights. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from April 8th to the 14th, 2024. Capricorn, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Capricorn Weekly Money and Career, April 8th to the 14th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the Magic Word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name uh, by the end of April and announce it in the last live of the month. Um, my lives Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time will now be for members only, exclusive uh, What's Your Question uh, tarot readings for all members, not subscribers, active members of the channel, supporting this channel. Uh, so that is going to be every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And then, depending on my schedule, I will or will not do a second uh, live during the Sunday. Uh, later on, uh, maybe with a collective reading or pick a card or whatever readings I have. Yes or no, depending on the week, maybe mid-months or monthlies or thematic collective readings. So it will depend on my schedule. All right, let's get started. Capricorn, let's see where we're going, what energies, what messages we have for this upcoming week. The judgment, big decision there, big decision to rise up to something more important for you. Easy does it, right? You're slowly but surely, or maybe you're hesitating. Maybe you're hesitating. You don't want to go too fast or you're not quite sure. This is something, you're changing your destiny. This is something important. You're at the crossroads of something with the judgment, right? This is a massive change or, yeah, um, um, but a real change, right? Something, a material change, maybe you're moving, um, Maybe you're really changing careers or really rising up, bossing up within a career, relocating, uh, changing countries, cities, or really changing that career and starting something uh, much more purposeful, your purpose, right? Something that makes more sense to you, but that is really pushing you to make a big decision, a big change. And so something conformed to you. And it feels like, not, not that you're hesitating, but that you're not in a rush. Or if it's not that, you want to make sure this is well done, well planned, well prepared. Not surprising, Capricorn. You're very pragmatic. You like things done in the, in the right way. You like that loyalty, that organization, you know, things done the right way. And so... You're not going to rush into anything or do something extremely spontaneous without preparing it. So it feels like this is, yes, a rebirth, but it's also a rev revelation for you. You're transcending, right? You're moving up. You're moving up to something um, more important for you. Uh, this is a new exploration but also you're pushing the envelope you're pushing yourself to do something extraordinary extraordinary for you out of your comfort zone something that you really want to do but maybe you're a little scared but it's it's a happy surprise right you're discovering a vocation you're discovering an inspiration you're expressing yourself you're putting yourself out there you want you want to be seen but it's a big decision and a change of destiny. So that is probably why you're taking your time. Yes, you might be moving three of 
three of wands but this is also me seeing that you know what this is you know what this goal is you have that vision right you're ready you're ready and so now you're going to start to build now you're going to start to make that decision and move forward um it's a massive change here you're really leaving something behind a career behind an, an old self behind putting past triggers past trauma past situations within your job your career whatever it is and it doesn't mean it was negative it doesn't mean you had a career that you didn't like anymore or you're detaching yourself from a job that was really bad no no, no. this it can be that it can be that maybe that is pushing you to change your destiny to change careers this really feels like a career change um and if it's not a career change it's really you with a whole new um spirit a whole new mindset and you're really positioning yourself putting yourself in another in another energy really um so you're leaving something behind. I think you're leaving your old self behind with the with the death card because the death card is really a a beautiful 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 transformation. But it's also you um realizing that it's time, right? That it's the end, it's a change, it's a transition, but it's also freedom. It's a real liber liberation. It's a new chapter for you and a much more important chapter, much more beneficial. Um, it's really the capacity to put everything behind and accept this new opportunity. It is a rebirth that is operating here. It's a transformation in your life or a transformation coming into your life, detaching yourself maybe from old habits, old emotions or resentments or situations or people, whatever it is this energy that was you know sort of bottling you up or 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 putting you i want to say in a corner but no putting you in a category right um I, I blocking you from from growing blocking you from doing something you really want or blocking you you from expanding your life purpose your business your idea and the idea here is to move forward, to um, really gradually move forward to more accomplishments, uh, more growth, accomplishments, ac accomplishments of yourself, but also uh, much more growth in your life and uh, connecting with the right people. And it's really blossoming in your life and, and not... Um, stagnating in uh, that same old energy that is no longer yours with the judgment and the death um appreciating that liberation and being able to you know to expand your horizons and go um uh, yeah, blossom somewhere else right find your creativity cre creativity somewhere else the freedom of creating what you want or the freedom of finally doing this job or or finding that new career or moving or you know moving to that other country um what it, it feels like a, a life change a lifestyle change but also a philosophy change right you want out you want out and you want freedom and you want fresh air and you want to go and blossom somewhere else which i completely understand and here we have the the um the king of cups and so you're able to um filter to your emotions to stabilize your emotions and also to make decisions in a mature way um, without being overwhelmed, understanding. You know where you stand emotionally. Now you're in the right place. And so all the decisions you're going to have to make or all the, the connections or the obstacles or whatever it is that you have to rethink or whatever it is that you have to think and, and decide, you're going to be able to decide it in a very in a much more calmer way more regrouped right and um you're okay now you're okay with this you're stable you're um and and the 
the ability to be stable when you, when I say stable, you know, emotionally stable, calm, a calm demeanor, a mature uh, demeanor, uh, that gives you the opportunity to see things with clarity and to also build, build on or rebuild uh, on, um, on a health, build a healthy foundation. Wow, massive change here, massive change. And again, these changes are not always about relocating, changing countries, uh, shifting complete careers, right? Building something completely new. It feels like it's that, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be you just in your mind, understanding exactly where you are and you have clear, complete freedom and clarity in your mind to now make decisions to to move on to something else or you know exactly what you want you're a new person and your new energy there you go it doesn't have to mean that you are you know automatically changing careers or lives completely but it does feel a little like that so comment down below let me know where you stand what your journey is all about what your energies are all about right that is how i push forward in my readings so share uh let me know let me know where you stand let me know what this is all about and if you don't wish to share like i always say not everybody wants to share on these platforms just put a heart down below or put the magic word down below whether it is for free reading or to empower yourself or others all right let's get let's see what else we have here but it's always already very very powerful uh, Capricorn here in this big change uh, but I think you're good with this change yes here you are Capricorn and um, celebrating celebrating who you are celebrating these detachments so again it can be from toxic ties from something you felt stuck in contracts you've been stuck in or manipulative energies in a job, in a business, or in a way of working, or an approach in your career, always feeling in that, you know, in that energy of you know, that unhealthy energy, that unhealthy attachment to something that doesn't belong to you anymore, or just feeling that there's no other way and you have to do that and you have to be in that job and that's going to be the job for the end of, you know, to the rest of your life and for the rest of your life and there's no other way or there's not nothing else you can do and you have to pretty much stay in there. No, 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 no. There you go. You're moving forward. You're changing everything. You have a whole different attitude. Liberation for you, Capricorn. I can't say it better. You have the three of, of wands. You have the four of wands celebrating this freedom, celebrating traveling, moving, expanding your business, expanding your life, expanding your career, whatever this is, whatever this is, whether it's uniquely in your mind and you feel like this fresh light energy, finally able to really um, create or participate or connect with pretty much anything, uh, it's a it's a real sense of freedom, a real sense of change. Wow. It's powerful, Capricorn. It's very powerful. Yeah, you're getting out of that. The Seven of Swords, people you don't trust, people that took you for granted or people that lied to you or you thought had your back or you thought you could trust, you know. Yes, those disappointments, there we go. Those attachments, those people, those situations, that job or 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 just people around you, right? You thought you got it or you you're getting out of that. The disappointment. Why did that happen? Why was it like that? Why did I have to stay or remain in that job, in that situation, in that dynamic energy, whatever it is? I don't trust these people anymore. I don't want to be with these people anymore. I don't want to work in that job anymore or I don't want to be in that career or I don't like that person, whatever it is, whatever it is. You're celebrating getting out of that. Can be family members, it is possible. Can be friends or people you partnered up with in something, but you're getting out of this sorrowness right this this five of cups where you still have two two cups standing right and these three cups that are empty and what am i going to do and why are these people like that and why can't i trust them or i just don't like this feeling 
Well, now you have this freedom, freedom of choice, freedom of change, of creativity, of philosophy, your energy is free to do whatever you want. Capricorn, go for it. All right, let's see if there's, am I taking this? Okay, I feel like these, all right, let's see what we have here. Yes, so you're persevering. So even if you're freaked out, you're moving forward, right? This is my card of freaked out, but persevering. I'm going to get there. I'm going to do this. I can do this. I can do this. Of course you can do that. Yes, it's huge transformation. Yes, it demands a lot of energy and a lot of effort to understand who you are now versus who you were. You're not the same person. You don't have the same energy. You don't have the same capacity. You have much more, much better, much bigger, much bolder, or you have something completely different you desire. So you're going to build something different, connect with other people, go live somewhere else, start a new business, go back to school for a diploma, uh, change your career. It is freedom for you. Take a breather if you need to with all these decisions, leaving something behind, right? Any decision is going to be important here with the judgment, but you're rising up to something so much more important for you. It makes sense to you and it's also very healing. It's a healing energy with the star. Believing in yourself, but you're also bridging the gap. I feel like in the past, or maybe you're still at the end of that energy, you had dreams and you wanted to do things, but you remained in this job or in the same energy or maybe even the same relationship, pattern, place, whatever. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. But with this star, it's like, finally, maybe you take some rest, whatever it is you need with this Four of Swords, take some rest to regroup, take some rest to understand and uh, to really, um, yeah, regroup and align yourself with what makes sense to you and, and find clarity within your mind so then you can move forward in a much calmer right calmer way uh, whatever that means for you um taking a time out going somewhere walking in nature yoga running gym dancing singing whatever it is right or just sitting quietly and regrouping whenever it is you feel overwhelmed or you have to make a decision calm your mind and your body however that works for you and here with the with the star card it's about healing healing your mind healing your soul and really believing in this new journey and bridging the gap between your dream and reality. And I think for the longest time, that was just a dream, just a pipe dream. I'll never be able to do that. I'll never be able to move or I'll never be able to start my business or I'll never be able to be part of that community or I'll never be able to blah, 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 right? Whatever it is. I, you're bridging the gap. And then that puts you in a much smooth, much more smooth, smoother, much smoother um, energy, healing, understanding, believing, and entering something calmer with the star. Um, maybe finally you are realizing what it takes to make this change happen. Maybe you're going back to sources, back to your hometown, back to an old job, back to closer to your family, or back to work with that team, with those people, that company, whatever it is. And I think that this is essential. You're going back to what is essential for you. So maybe you're creating a whole new life or creating a whole new career, but that is, that is because you want to go back to the essence, to what is the essence for you the essential for you that's different for each and every one at your core essence what it is what what is it that you know is going to drive you make you happy um that dream you wanted bridging that gap right and bring it down bringing it down to uh the essence of your life it's intimate it is personal and I feel like it's protective at the same time and giving you sort of peace of mind and serenity and a whole new inspiration and 
and then that opens up to creativity right your future is there this is your future career this is your future life you're protecting your future life your future career long term and this is really giving you serenity and harmony within your professional life within your professional uh, um, environment this is something that is really putting you in a beautiful beautiful serene energy yes and there we go beautiful harmony serene in your family maybe you're relocating your family and maybe you're finding that space and starting a new career in a much much calmer environment and something that is important for you you've saved your money you've been really really obstinate of this about this stubborn this is the way you're going to do it this is what's going to happen i've waited long enough this is now my liberation, my life, my time. And there we have the world. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, this is your time. This is your time to do this. You're bringing it all together. It is successful. It will be successful. It will be really the consecration of your, your success, right? Um, really... Um, uh, rewarded rewarded for everything you've done up to now everything you have experienced worked on the connections it's a beautiful period of success and it's a period of um people people recognizing you seeing your worth seeing your talent understanding who you are offering you um, new opportunities to open yourself up in the world it's a new it's really a new energy in your life and I think you're opening up to another sector maybe opening up to another career I'm saying that again can be abroad can be moving with the world it's a beautiful beautiful full cycle full accomplishments and and success into your new life new dream whatever that is absolutely amazing capricorn big big change admitting this is not for you anymore admitting it's upsetting right it's a, and you don't trust these people that's okay moving on and moving into your happiness to your beautiful energies to your dreams I'm surprised we don't have the Nine of Cups, but maybe it'll show up. All right, let's see. Uh, well, here we have the Wheel of Fortune. There you go. Synchronicities popping in. Luck. Um, a whole new dynamic. A whole new di dynamic is setting in. Pushing forward. Connecting to the right people. This is your time, Capricorn. This is your time. You are marching into, I mean, wow freedom liberation your time making this happen whatever it is that you've been wanting to do this is the moment you're waiting for getting those answers getting out of that confusion uh, not knowing wanting to know what happened those people right confused confused it's not clear you don't get the truth because these are people you don't deal want to deal with anymore All right, let's see if there's one last card in this deck. Capricorn, weekly, money and career, April 8th to the 14th, 2024. Beautiful, the chariot. So, determined. Once you realize that, you know, first of all, that you have that vision, that you have everything you need, and it's time now to change, to make that big change, to make that big decision, and that you're empowered to do it, right? You're empowered to do it, even if you still have re resentments of that situation, of those people. The chariot is here to say that, you know, it's time. You are now balanced. You are now ready ready to take on this um, new journey because 
it's time, right? Your, your ambition is healthy. Your foundation is healthy. And all these energies are pushing you forward um, because you're now balanced and you have the knowledge. You're in control. You're in control of your choices. You're in control of your energies. And that is really pushing you forward to um, reach those goals. But also because you know now you can do it. There's no looking back. And also you have the power to do it. You are empowered and you are, um, you, you trust yourself. And you trust yourself probably much more than you did before. So fingers in the nose, right? Really push forward, not looking back. You got this, you're in control. You will be successful. Um, yeah, and don't look back, but you've worked, you've done all the work and you know where you stand and you know how, um, how you got there or how you got here and now how you can build or just be free to do whatever you want. All right, one last message for the road. Capricorn, amazing reading. Beautiful, beautiful energies of determination. Willpower, the willpower you have, Capricorn. It's just, and but that put you right here. You have the world, you have the wheel of fortune, you have the chariot, you have the judgment, you have the death card. I mean, this is all your whole new life, your whole new life. And, and you have the star, I forgot, the star. So this is your new life in front of you. And this is your new life that you chose. And it's a, a pure sense of freedom. All right. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Capricorn Weekly, Money and Career. April 8th to the 14th, 2024. We have the King of Wands, Motivated. The King of Pentacles, oh my goodness, I think, and then I think this is all you. Look at this, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, you're going to, in uh, financial power, um, business power, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, you're clear, you're clear on your choice, you're clear on your decisions, empowered with the emperor, you're in control. And it is, it just shows your, it just shows your, your power and your tenacity and your, your personality to be that leader, to want to develop this, to create, to take your responsibilities and, and build that new structure, really trusting yourself in a very concrete, logic, pragmatic way. You're stabilizing your project, stabilizing your life and stabilizing your business, whatever it is. It will be different for each and every one. But my oh my, is this, is this powerful? And I really think, I, I think the magic word here is life change uh, because it, it's nothing less than that. Life change. There's nothing else I have to say. Uh, you have really navigated to this point with a fabulous, fabulous transformation uh and what a liberation what a liberation uh capricorn um i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you so so much for watching thank you to each and every one um for supporting this channel and um from the bottom of my heart gratitude to each and every one uh the magic word here is liberation if you're interested in putting a magic word down below uh, for a potential free reading, the, the word is liberation. Um, uh, but if you wish to share your journey or just put liberation down below <coughs> to empower yourself and others within this platform and share your energies, absolutely amazing reading, Capricorn. Uh, thank you again for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.